millions and millions of years of history beneath my feet. I'm standing on rocks from the Ice Age. Amazing. And the, the scenery as well. well. Not that you can see it, but it is it wonderful. It is beautiful. Thanks for telling me, Matt. It's absolutely stunning. I, I can, yeah, take your word for it. I'm really excited actually because Matt Jones is the man who knows his stuff about Edinburgh. Although I've been pounding the streets, me and Marty have been walking around little boutiques, cute little cafes and bakeries, but actually Matt is going to tell us more about Edinburgh, all the hidden gems that we've not yet found. Welcome to the amazing Edinburgh tour with your host Matt Jones. And then we've got Maddie in the corner, Excellent. and then next to Maddie's my camera is sitting on its tripod because I was just going to get some great shots for you as well. First stop, Carlton Hill, where we're going to enjoy a wonderful vista of Edinburgh. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so if we start off to your right, there's a big tower there. Yep. It looks like an upturned telescope, and it's okay. got a mast at the top, and the reason for that we have the one o'clock gun here in Edinburgh. Ah, I did hear that. And that tells everybody it's one o'clock. Now, if we go slightly over to our left, we yep. can see the, uh, the North Bridge, and then yep. we're looking into the old town. And oh, beyond yeah. in the distance, just, yep. just shrouded in the cloud, we've got the Pentland Hills, and we can just make out the ski slope. And that's uh, Europe's largest dry ski slope. Is it? That's fascinating yeah. to know. I love skiing. Yeah, but dry you know, especially. ironically, it yep. closes when there's too much snow because people can't access the road up there. Oh, that's absolutely so And funny. then if we come that further around to our left, yep. we can now see the, uh, the wonderful vista of uh, the Salisbury Crags, and beyond that oh, okay. is the lion shape of Arthur's Seat, the extinct volcano. Do you, do you like the wet weather, Siobhan? Uh, no, I don't. I okay. absolutely love the sun, love the sunshine, but I, I, I think the rain does give the earth some, uh, well, spices it up a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon about my vlogging camera then, Matt? You mean the one I'm operating? Yeah. Uh, is it well, nice? It's a wonderful piece of kit. It's brilliant, yes, isn't it? It's easy to use, it's just it's plug and play. Exactly, yes. and I like when you can plug and that's, play. That's... that's how I like my friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Arthur's seat's up there and we can see the silhouettes of about two dozen people walking across the top of it. Okay. And then we come over to the left and we can see the, the eastern uh, uh, edge of the Pentland Hills and the ski slope. And then over in the distance, in the mid-distance, we've yep. got uh, we could just see Craig Miller Castle, which is where Mary Queen of Scots used to hang out when she oh, visited, okay. when, she, yeah. when she was running away from Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> we can see some of the pointed hills, which were the old volcano. Oh, I remember you saying. So going out to North Berwick Law, and then we can see the edge of the sea again, which goes out. I bet it's quite picturesque up here, actually, isn't it? it really, it's, it's wonderful. Stunning. There's lots of colour, deep, deep dark green. I was going to say very luscious, yeah, because obviously the rain. Yeah, and obviously the fourth estuary that yeah. was the gateway, pretty much to the beast from the east last year, if you oh, remember that. Oh yes, I do. Taxi. All right, love. Where do you want to go? Just off to Haymarket, if you can, please. Hop in then, love. Is that a guide dog in the back? Yeah. Hang on, are you blind? Yeah, ain't you heard of the equality yet, love? Oh, no! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. 